Hi guys, it's Ryan Horton's Gaming here, and today we're going to talk about the top five worst kill streaks ever made in Call of Duty history. And I'm with my friend here, Cameron. Hey guys. And that's the first kill streak that we've got, which is at number five, which is the emergency airdrop. What are your reasons for hating this kill streak, Cameron? It's just awful. You just it always goes off the map all the time. I just I just can never get it right. Completely agree, and that's about it really. It is also uh, very hard to get as you have to get a lot of kills to get it as well. And it's pretty worthless, and, mo and, you, and they get nicked quite easily as well. Uh, exactly, kind of enemies. It's a, like sometimes you can get like I'd 18 or 30 and then you'd lose it. Yeah, I'd rather have something a bit better than that. And that is basically our views and opinions on the um, emergency airdrop. And if you disagree or agree, um, comment and like the video. At number 4 we have the SAM turret from Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3. It is completely useless as it only fires 2 shots of 4 missiles, which is useful only on UAVs. What's your opinions on this Cameron? In my opinion, I completely agree with Ryan. It is only useful on small maps such as Nuketown and Dome, and I hardly ever use it. It's for only use if you want to be a support and take down enemy aircraft for your team, but apart from that I just honestly do not use it. As you can see, the SAM only uses two shots and it breaks down but still takes down the helicopter. But apart from that, it is at number four on the list. At number three, some of you may disagree but agree at the same time. It is the Trinity Rocket from Call of Duty Ghost. I put it at number three because it's just completely useless on maps where there is a lot of cover. What do you think, Cameron? Yeah, I completely agree. I hardly ever use it. It's a terrible kill streak. It'll be so much better. But it didn't have the free rockets and the targeting system, but apart from that, I never use it, and it does not deserve to be a seven kill streak. It deserves to be five, like it always has been. Agreed, agreed. As you can see, it is so annoying when it does not get anybody, and it hits the stupid roof of the building, and that is why it is at number three. At number two, it is a night tower from Call of Duty Ghost. It is at number two because it is a useless kill streak, and I have only used it once on free fall, and then again, it was hardly good and did fuck all, what do you think Cameron? Yeah, completely agree, I hardly ever use it, uh, I've only used it once like Ryan has on free fall, but then again, you only want to use it if you against a team that are a complete bunch of noobs and just lob grenades all the time, but apart from that, I have never ever used it. As you can see, it is useless, just follow me like a stalker doing absolutely nothing, and I honestly don't get this piece of crap, and that is why it's at number 2. At number 1, it is the fucking vacuum rocket, this piece of shit is one of the most hardest kill streaks, actually, fuck it, it's the worst of all time, and it is the stupidest idea of all time, fuck you Treyarch, please agree with me Cameron. No, I completely love it, no I'm kidding, uh, it's, it's an awful kill streak, you can never ever get anybody with it, it's controlling it, you can hardly turn, it's got a short back battery power, whatever the hell it is, and I have never actually got killed with it at all, it's just an awful kill streak, especially if it's 7 kill streak, I mean come on, it deserves better than that, so that's why it's just, oh, god damn it, it's an awful kill streak. And that is why the fucking Valkyrie Rocket is at number 1 on this list, it is a horrible kill streak, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video, thank you very much.